What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Today's video, we're going to focus on how to get two-way pressure out of the normal formation. Yesterday, we talked about one-way. Today, we're going to show you two-way. We're using the same play, but we're going to use one more adjustment. It's going to give us two-way pressure. I've actually already broken down DB Blitz Man. Today, we're looking at the zone. So here, uh, I told you before, you don't have to spread your line, but you want to do it because it's going to make it look exactly like your two-way. So now, we're going to base line. I like to press just because I'm a press kind of guy. I'm going to spread my line, and then now I'm just going to contain both defensive tackles. And you should get two-way pressure. And you didn't because... I don't know why you didn't get two-way Oh, yeah, that's right. You have to make three adjustments. My bad. So, baseline press, spread line, crash line down, then contain both of them. You don't have to do the baseline and press if you don't want to. But I think it makes the formation more balanced, allows you more versatility. So what I like to do, actually, is I'll man line press... Then I'll do the adjustments, spread line, crash down, contain both guys, pressure comes in. So, real quick, one more time. Press coverage, man a line, spread line, crash line down, contain both of these guys, and then you're free to make adjustments. I like to do this, make them really aggressive, play yellow zones all over the field, and you see you're going to get two-way pressure. Now, real quick, why is that important? If they block the running back to pick up your first pressure that I showed you yesterday, if, I, if they block your running back to pick up DB Blitz uh, to the, the basic uh, left edge version, well, you're still going to get pressure because you're sending six instead of five. One guy, one guy more. They're blocking one guy more. You're sending one guy more, but you're still at a numbers advantage because they have four guys in route, or they have, yeah, four guys in routes, and you have um, – six or excuse me you have five in coverage so you're always at a plus one advantage with this offense or excuse me with this defense no matter what they do to you and if and if they send the running back in a round it's six or it's five on five and then just you know try to try to get in with your coverage that's the idea here so anyways just basic pressures guys out of the dime normal tomorrow we're going to focus on how to get um pressure out of any play in dime normal it's going to require four adjustments instead of three you see how we progress i like how i do that so uh thanks for watching today guys and again if you enjoyed the video uh, please subscribe please retweet this for me on twitter uh, it really does give me uh it really does help me out a lot and i appreciate all the guys who do it on an everyday basis thanks for watching today see you guys tomorrow